What's up, guys? It's Diesel Tactical. Uh, just doing a review of my 2017 One SS Chevrolet Camaro. I'm doing what I do probably 80% of the time in my car, sitting in traffic. That's all I do. That's all I ever do is I live in freaking crazy ass South Florida. It's 99 degrees outside, and I'm going 20 miles an hour, and there's terrible traffic. <sighs> Let's see if I can't get out of this traffic. I'm just going to go down University. Anyway, uh, so far, so good. Let me see what kind of miles I have. I didn't research this car probably as much as I should have. I have 996 miles. So, I gotta go in for my thousand mile checkup. That's something the dealer told me they wanna do to my vehicle. I don't know why. That's what I was told. When I have a thousand miles, bring it in. I have to meet my service guy. I, you get assigned a service advisor now. It's not random anymore. A service advisor is your guy forever for the life of your car. He's the guy that you deal with, blah, blah, blah. So, I gotta do that. Probably this weekend. I have to work this weekend, of course. I work almost every day, but you got to work to afford a car like this at my hourly pay. I don't make that much an hour, so I have to work more, but it's well worth it for me. Uh, so far, so good. Unfortunately, like I said, Florida, it rains every day. It's hard to keep the paint up. I have done a synthetic sealer. I sealed it. It's pretty, came out pretty good. The nightfall gray, you know, shows a lot of the dirt and you know where I park for my um my community area or whatever I have an assigned parking and it's kind of got some bad trees so that sucks but um I'm really impressed by the car number one it's very very comfortable uh history of me is I had a 2015 gen 5 uh this this vehicle is much more comfortable for me um still uh the same thing I have last time I wish the steering wheel would just go a little bit higher um, I'd rather have my seat up a little bit um, higher up but I can't see the gauges so I have to have the seat almost to the bottom I'd much rather sit up a little higher but I want to be able to see the gauges I wish the steering wheel I have the steering wheel all the way up I don't know how you're supposed to see the gauges with the steering wheel down here I, I, I don't see how that's possible I have it all the way up and all the way in because I'm kind of a big fella but to me visibility is better uh, the A pillars are not as not as thick. Um, even those little porthole windows out the back, I can see. I haven't tinted these windows yet. And yes, I'm still sitting. I haven't moved. Oh, here we go. Finally gonna move. That's how long you gotta wait for one light in this town. It's pretty crazy. But um, this LCD screen right here is awesome. Um, there's so many different gauge configurations you can run. Now this is a one SS now. I wouldn't think a 1SS would have this many things. I don't have heads-up display. I don't want heads-up display. Um, but you can change the configuration. You can change the audio to show you what audio you're running, which is, you know, the song, the album cover, like an iPad or an iPod has the album art. Um, Apple CarPlay is great. Never had any problems with the Apple CarPlay. Um, Apple navigation kind of sucks as everyone knows today. It had me upside down Florida was facing the other way and all the words were correctly You know right side up, but the continent was upside down It was pretty trippy. I've never seen that one yet but all in all You know, I haven't been really getting on it under the thousand miles Trying to break it in oh fifth gen cutting me off. Yay fifth gen yeah, fifth gen Camaro cutting me off. That's cool. They're everywhere. Uh, but this thing shifts 10 times smoother. You can, in my fifth gen, if I would shift like the fourth, you would hear a clunk clunk. You know, you would hear the, you know, the rubbery, plasticky kind of feel of a shifter making noise. This one don't have any noise. Nice Porsche. The GT3 RS. Nice. I don't know if you heard that guy. I don't know if you can see out there. A nice Porsche. Uh, but it drives way better. The seats are more comfortable. Um, the skip shift is a lot more. Here, the 
course. He's hauling ass. Um, the skip shift still happens in track mode, which I don't understand why it would. You go to track mode, you figure, you know, you got full control. You still have to double tap the traction control button to put it in competitive mode. Or you ain't going to spin no tires. You know, put it in track mode and then I double tap into competitive mode. And you're pretty much, you know, got full control of, of the vehicle. And you're smoking tires at that point. Um, one thing it does have a hard time with. Um, if you do try to do like a little, you know, a little smoke show burnout thing, you can't really rev it up and drop the clutch. It won't let you. Even in, you know, like track mode and, you know, with everything off. I tried to do that the other day. It just would go pop, pop, pop. It would pop a couple times and then it would just roll. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but it would just hit like the rev limiter or what it was doing. It just wouldn't do it. But if you, you know, launch it about two grand and then gradually hit the throttle your you know tires are breaking loose you're doing a nice little sideways burnout do it on level ground because she is going to sway back and forth but all in all it's it's nice man i love it love it love it way more than my fifth gen i thought i couldn't get any better than my fifth gen i love my fifth gen don't get me wrong that thing had plenty of power i had a manual so i had the real ls3 um can i tell the difference between the 25 odd horsepower not really to me, this vehicle handles much better. Um, and like I said, it has way more stuff. Um, I don't have any of the lighting. I don't have the leather. I don't have any cooled seats. Just pretty much base inside here. But the base is a lot better than the one SS that I had before. It was just real plain. <coughs> no gauges, no nothing. So, and the LCD screens are awesome. So I, I highly recommend getting a one SS. If you don't want, you know, leather and all that stuff, I mean, you can get them, you know, 37,000, man. I got NPP exhaust. Uh, I got some other stuff. I can't think of what it, I, I, my extras I have. I guess the black, the black wheels are extra. The NPP, you know, dual mode exhaust is extra. But other than that, I, I pretty much got just the regular old Camaro Super Sport. Um, it looks just as good as all the others. It has all the LED lights. The One SS, of course, 2005 didn't. So to me, the One SS is is a much better value in a 2017 than you know a fifth gen model, for me at least. But the fifth gen, I talked them way down from what they wanted. But list price, sticker price for this car and my fifth gen were very close. Were very close. But I didn't talk them down that much on this car. They, uh, they stuck to their guns because I bought it in July of 2016, and it's a 2017. So it ain't like, uh, you know, there's that many of them available then. And I just had to have the black wheels with the nightfall gray. I just fell in love with it right when I sat in it, right when I felt the shifter, how smooth. The steering wheel, of course, is smaller. It has the flat bottom. Flat bottom's kind of funky, but you get used to it. I don't really know the purpose of the flat bottom. I mean, give you a little bit more room down here. Of course, I need belly room, all I can get. But uh, I need to go to this gas station before I run out of gas. And there's about five trucks blocking me. That's one thing that to me that this does more than my uh, fifth gen is it sucks gas way more, it seems. Probably because maybe, maybe I'm getting on it more. I don't think I am, but it just seems like I go through gas a lot faster. I could be totally wrong, though. So we're at 999 miles right now. We're almost at 1,000. So that's it. I mean, I got a lot of views on my last video. So I don't know what else to say other than I'm just sitting in traffic in a normal Florida afternoon. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, the vehicle does sound a lot better. It's nice to be able to control your exhaust from the, you know, from the vehicle instead of the valves in the back opening up at different throttle points and rpms like the fifth gen you can put this thing in stealth and it's super quiet i have no modifications done to it i have never i haven't touched anything on it yet <laughs> excuse me i want to get the um front splitter but it's like 400 500 it's like what it's very very expensive i don't see the purpose of why it's that expensive for just a little strip of plastic it seems a little crazy i looked up some aftermarket ones and they're more 
than the GM. And that, and they're not even painted. So I really don't understand why. Maybe it's so new, but more than likely I'll pay the money for it because I really like the look of it. I want to get the side skirts in gloss black and the splitter in gloss black. Because the rear is already there in gloss black. It looks really nice. That's another thing I like about the 6th gen over the 5th gen. At least the 2015 5th gen had that real big black plastic back bumper. This one is way more neat, way more, it's just, it just looks way better to me. Fifth gen Camaro, when you'd push in the clutch and you hear the axles ping, 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 everything went ching, chong, ching. This thing is quiet. You can't even hear the shifter. If I go smooth, you can't hear it. Third, fourth. It's so quiet. Oh, it's big time traffic. Oh, I can't stand this fucking traffic, man. <laughs> Let the fucking dogs run, motherfucker. <laughs> Negative. Oh, God. <laughs> 